Emerald, the gentleman's instinct. After suffering a terrible defeat to start the tournament, Sri Lanka made one of the greatest comebacks in cricket history to clinch the Asia Cup for a sixth time. Before the tournament, no one ever gave these young bunch of players a chance of pulling this off, but the collective effort of the whole squad and the coaching staff showed the whole world that Sri Lanka cricket is up and running once again. So let's take a look at how we would rate each of the players who took part in the Asia Cup campaign, starting with the batters. Patum Nishankar. He did take some time early in the tournament, but during the three important Super 4 games against Afghanistan, India and Pakistan, he rose to the occasion and batted with a lot of responsibility. Nishanga scored 35 against Afghanistan while constructing a stand of 62 for the first wicket and then scored 52 against India where he and Mendes compiled 97 runs for the opening wicket. He then showed a lot of resilience to score an unbeaten 55 against Pakistan in a nervy chase. Along with his batting, his ability under the high ball was a treat to us throughout the tournament as he ended the Asia Cup taking the joint most number of catchers with five. Kusal Mendes Mendes, who finally got the opportunity to open the innings, performed up to the expectations during the three crucial chases against Bangladesh, Afghanistan and India. The highlight from those three knocks was how he handled the key spinners from each side. Against Bangladesh, he punished Shakib Al Hassan, and versus Afghanistan, he destroyed Rashid Khan in his very first over by depositing him for two sixes. He continued the streak of aggression against Shahal in the same way. His tactic of putting the main spinner of the opposition under pressure early in the spell laid the foundation for those three run chasers. Sarita Salanka Sarita Salanka had the most disappointing tournament possible with the bat in hand. He has been in fine form in white ball cricket but looked out of sorts from the very first game. Due to his string of low scores, Asalanka got dropped after the fourth encounter and didn't feature in the final two games. Danushka Gunatilaka There's no denying that Danushka Gunatilaka had a hard time as a batsman at the Asia Cup. He batted out of his usual spot and the move didn't help him out in any way. He did manage to put together a little partnership in the first match with Banu Rajapaksha but never really got going. His only knock that A Sri Lanka during a game was the 33 against Afghanistan during the Super 4 encounter. But Gunatilaka had a very good outing as a fielder, especially in the final. He took two good catches and made some terrific saves invaluable in a big match. Rajapaksa. Throughout this tournament, whenever Sri Lanka needed someone to dig them out of a hole or needed quick runs to pull off a chase, Rajapaksha was always there. He started the tournament well with the 38 against Afghanistan, and although he failed to make an impact against Bangladesh, during the Super 4 phase he became a menace to the opposition bowlers. He's 31 of 14 against Afghanistan, 25 of 17 against India, 24 of 19 against Pakistan, and to cap things off, he produced probably the best knock of his career by scoring a classic, a destructive unbeat knock of 71 from 45, which ultimately won him the player of the final award. With Rajabaksha in fine form, things are looking really good for Sri Lanka in the T20 format. Now it's time to take a look at the all-rounders. Match checker set to naga mang amma khade yar nagi na the. Dara smart balu na the. Obat avashya seal mag groceries adu mami lata. Dara smart gatheri naga mang. Vani duha saranga. Hasaranga who didn't have the best of starts to the tournament chipped in when the team needed him the most. He took only three wickets in the first four games and scored just 20 runs in four innings. But then came Pakistan, a team he loves to play against. He rattled the Pakistani batters with a three-wicket hole in the dead rubber Super 4 encounter and took another three-wicket hole during the all-important final. To go with that, he also scored a brilliant cameo of 36 of 21 deliveries and aided Banu Rajapaksha to take Sri Lanka from 58 for 5 to 170 for 6. The impact he has on the field is truly next level as well. Dasun Shanaka Captain marvelous Dasun Shanaka who took all the reins as the Sri Lankan white ball skipper amidst chaos has become the hero of an entire nation. To go with his brilliant captaincy, he also provided the team with two gutsy knocks against Bangladesh and India. Although he couldn't finish things off against Bangladesh, it was he who gave all the momentum during the middle lowest of the chase and during the Indian fixture, he made sure to be there at the finish by hammering an unbeaten 33 from 18 deliveries. He also took on the bowling responsibilities in tough times despite the risk of going for plenty. Shanga Karna Ratna 
In the absence of Dushman the Chamira, Sri Lanka had to go with a brand new bowling attack with Chamika Karnaratna being the only experienced one. And it's fair to say that Karnaratna did a very good job. With the ball in hand, he bowled three quality spells, one against Bangladesh where he took 2 for 32 and then against India registering figures of 2 for 27. At the all important final, he clinched two wickets once again for 33 runs with the stunning last wicket to win Sri Lanka the trophy as well. Also with the bat in hand, he batted well in the opening fixture and complimented Banu Rajapaksha to play his part in a 54 run stand for the seventh wicket in the finals. Dananjay De Silva Danza De Silva was not initially picked in the playing 11 for Sri Lanka, but with the failure of Shahid Asalanka, DDS got the opportunity and made it count. His economy of below 4.5 in the 5 overs he delivered had a huge impact in both the games. Having someone as classy as DDS is a plus point for Sri Lanka's top order, which was clearly on display during the final where he played a very good hand even though early wickets fell. His 28 may not seem much, but that gave Banu Rajapaksha the time to stay in the middle without going after the bowling straight away. And finally, we have the bowlers, Mahesh Tekshana. Mahesh Tekshana had an outstanding Asia Cup being the most economical bowler for Sri Lanka after playing all the games. Against Afghanistan, he gave away only 8 runs in the 17th and 19th overs and that restricted the Afghans from reaching a total of 190. His economy of 6.75 after bowling mainly at the power play and the death speaks volumes about the ability and consistency this youngster has shown across a tournament in which Sri Lanka played 6 games. Dilshan Madhushankar One of the finds of the tournament, his ability to swing the ball with a speed of 145 km power looked really promising and the fact he has a deceptive slow ball around a speed of 100 km power further strengthens his value in the side. The 21-year-old in his very first international tour bowled his best spell against a star-studded Indian top order where he took 3 for 24. Madhushankar, rattling the sums of the great Virat Kohli is a scene that he and the fans of Sri Lanka cricket won't forget for a very long time. Pramod Madhushan Madhushan took two wickets on his debut and at the finals he took four wickets which included the back-to-back -back double blues where Bab Razam and Fakar Saman departed. Madhushan also broke the partnership between Mohd Riswan and Iftikhar Ahmad just when they were starting to look dangerous. Just like Madhushanka, this went down as a memorable first tour for a promote Madhushan. Asita Fernando Asita Fernando had a tough time when he came to bowling during the Asia Cup. He did pick up two wickets but his economy was quite disappointing mainly because he got too predictable when it comes to using the short ball. But Fernando did make a notable contribution against Bangladesh when he scored the last two boundaries to take Sri Lanka home in the chase and also to make sure that Sri Lanka qualified for the Super Force. Asia Cup 2022 will go down as one of the most incredible campaigns ever by a Sri Lankan cricket team. Every player gave their best shot, some of them worked and some of them didn't but that's what cricket is. Sri Lanka will take out all the positives they have as a team and as individuals and move on to the World Cup down under next month with newfound confidence.